Hello, everyone. My name is Ryo Takashi from the University of Tokyo. Today, I will be presenting Meandopoi Prapura, a work on a safe and efficiency technical core for body scale wise power transmission. First, I will thank my co primary author, Wakako Yukita, and my advisor, Tomoyuki Yokota, Tako Someya, and Mishiro Kahara. As you might know, wearable devices like smartwatch and smart browse are promising factor to our wearable computing for personal health care, activity recognition, and HCI. However, different home from smartphone, most of wearable devices suffer from low battery capacity because the wearable must be compact to be seamlessly worn by the user. This requires the user to take off and charge the wearables every couple of days, which is really cumbersome. So, we end continuous wearable computing by directly charging the wearables attached to the body or clothes. Here, we present Mianko Prapura, which enables both body scale and energy efficiency while power transmission. The power transmission of Mianko Prapura is safe, with a lot of transmission smart power. Also, this transmission efficiency is approximately 40%, enabling relatively efficient transmission. In total, the wearable device plays towards growth and receives a few watts power, which is enough for maintaining power hungry wearable device for a week. Some previous researchers were trying to realize continuous wearable computing using energy harvesting, wire power transfer, and wireless power transfer. However, none of them support both body scale and energy efficient charging system. For example, energy harvesting like solar power mainly suffers from the inefficient energy conversion of the harvesters. For stable charging, wired power transfers throughout the textile seem promising, but the wire needs to be exposed for electric connection, which leads to a safety issue. So we focus on textile-based wireless power transfer, which can charge the wearables without requiring the wearables to be directly connected. Unfortunately, current textile-based wireless power transfer methods suffer from their low efficiency owing to the use of flexible but lossy conductive threads. Let me explain more detail. To realize an energy efficient and body scale wireless charging, we use wireless charging technique using a coil, where a transmitter coil can send power wirelessly to a receiver coil, as shown in this slide. However, to this end, we need to overcome two challenges. First, the conductive threads compatible with textile is lossy, which decreases the power transfer efficiency to a few percent. Second, standard coil structure or helix coil inevitably generates a strong EM field in the body and thus limiting the amount of transmission power up to few watts. In total, a receiver or wearable can receive only a 10 watts watt power, which is quite small. To solve these two challenges, we combine two approaches. First, as a lowness conductive thread, we use liquid metal contained in a stretchable silicon tube. It is known that liquid metal is a liquid at room temperature, and its conductivity is quite high compared to the one of the conducting thread. So, efficient textile core can be realized. Second, to avoid the EM interaction with body, we develop a safe and efficient core structure called Neandercoil Prapura. Different from the standard helix core, Neandercoil Prapura changes its winding direction for some time, inspired by Neandercoil. With this winding, Neandercoil Prapura confines a strong EM field around the closing while canceling the EM penetration into the body. Let me show the difference of EM field generated by the standard fake core and manifold propura. This is a result of an EM simulation, and as you can see, the undercoil propura confines strong EM field around the clothes. So, the undercoil propura can transmit more 10 times power than the helix core. For more detail, please refer to our paper. Uh, then, let me explain the fabrication process of the undercoil propura. First, knit the cloth which has the pocket for inserting the tube. Then, insert a liquid or e which is safe e into the silicone tube. Finally, 
insert the tube into the textile and sold out multiple chip capacitors for tuning the resonant frequency of the main pole plura. The capacitor also works to weaken the unnecessary capacitive coupling between the body and the main pole plura. This is a prototype of main pole plura. Main pole plura can transmit power up to 41% efficiency in SC and 25% efficiency in DC. Its weight is approximately 119 grams, which is similar to iPhone 30 mini. Then I show you a power transfer module. The module is connected to Neanderthal Prapura and transmit power up to 10%. Also, the module autom automatically tunes the resonant frequency of Neanderthal Prapura because Neanderthal Prapura changes its inductance according to the user's time. Finally, the module transmit power only when detecting the RX code for saving power. As application example of Neanderthal Prapura, we show four demos. Each demo targets power-hungry on-body device like smartphone, smartwatch, neck fan, and sensors like Arduino. We envision that Neanderthal Prapura enable a wearable device that can make that can maintain high performance over a long period because Meandercoil Prapura serves as a large battery pack for compact wearable device. Let me summarize our work. As a body scale wise charging, we propose Meandercoil Prapura. Meandercoil Prapura enables a safe coil structure which is with no loss liquid metal based conducting core. Our evaluation, our, our evaluation shows that. Our evaluation shows that Neanderthal Prapura enables to transmit a few watts power to the wearable device placed throughout the closing. As a future work, we plan to simplify the publication process with inlay knitting technique, which, is, can, which can insert a thick tube like our conductive cord while knitting textile with a knitting machine. Thanks for your listening.